Hey everyone, I'd like to talk about the future of speedrunning in Rogue Legacy 2. So, as you might know, I am a any percent speedrunner, and I am amongst, like, two if you count Mindful Line, three if you count Ace Law, I'm not sure if Ace Law has posted anything. There's very few runners of us, less than 10 digits, and it makes sense because it's a very hard run. So it makes sense that we are all that's there. So I've been trying to think of other ways to get other people into speedrunning, and just kind of little steps. So the first and most obvious is the scar challenges, the Erebus scars. Um, whether it be the Narrow Praxis or the new Ronin Road, whatever that one's called, um, there's a bunch of scars that keep track of your time, and so all the scar challenges are one way to get people to speedrunning. Generally speaking, the rules there are just don't use any empathies. If it's one of those that involves heirlooms or that allows for relics, don't take any relics. And from there, it's just how fast you can do it. Um, for classes, all, the ones that most people are running have very limited. It chooses your class and your spell. Um, otherwise, I think just the only rule would be make sure you don't pick a class that has... Like, there's a trait that gives you a random weapon and a random talent. That's the only thing that I think would be limited. Everything else would be for good for going. So that's the obvious way that gets people to speedrunning. Another one is Lamech Percent. Lamech Percent has been around since the original game. Um, when the game first was released to beta test, the only boss was Lamech. So the speedruns were, how quickly can you kill Lamech? This is a great little speedrun to get people into the use of boss... It's exploring the castle very quickly, it's boss rushing, it's that sort of stuff. And a new player could probably get there once they get some practice and are good at Lamech. They can do the run in about 10 minutes, so it's a nice little short run to get people to figure out if they like speedrunning this game, because it has a lot of the elements of finding the boss, um, like dashing, you know, dashing around, getting used to the area, uh, beating bosses that you know the patterns of. It gets you a lot of what the sense of the speedrun is. So Lamech Percent is great, but the thing is, there's now a huge gap between beat the first boss and beat every single boss in the game on as fast as possible. There's a huge gap between those. So I've been trying to explore some ways to cut the gaps between. Um, a person named Jared Mizell, who has been showing up in my chat, had the idea of the 5,000 gold rush, which I think is a good idea of a speedrun. The goal of the speedrun is just on your first life, you just rush to get to 5,000 gold as fast as possible. Originally, this was going to be like level 20 speedrun, a level 25 speedrun, something like that. But what happened is I thought about it, and the first run I just retired my hero and just was going for vegan or austenogesis or some sort of trait that increases my gold drastically. And I felt like that was abusive and not exactly entertaining. 5,000 gold rush push pushes you to like a pushes you to the edge of your ability. It um, forces you to um, get gold in a way other than just fighting bosses. Lamech only gives you 1,000, so it could be the way to get your last thousand. But it's not the goal. Um, getting Lamech and then trying to go for Void Beast Barath is definitely a waste of your time because of how long it takes to get over there. So it's a lot of just exploring the castle, moving quickly to get your gold and just get out. So that is one of the runs that are used to close this gap between Lamech percent and any percent. So I think the, that would be the next step. I think that's pretty awesome. I do enjoy that. Next is my idea of Nama percent. So Nama is just another boss. It's the important part about this boss is it's only ch difficulty rating three. It's not Enoch, it's not Irad. It's a boss that's harder, but it's not the hardest boss. This is to kind of push for further. For example, if your problem with Lamech Percent was that it's too, you have to, um, the fastest way to do Lamech Percent is to retire your hero and get someone with either Gigantism or Hollowed Bones, and then using that character to break the seal quickly. If you don't like that aspect and you just want to do the whole getting heirlooms then rushing a boss, um, the idea is Naman Percent would be long enough to do that without being so hard that it prevents most players. You only have to beat Void Beast Barath and Nama. Technically, Lamech isn't even necessary in this run. In addition, this pushes you to go all the way from the entrance to the furthest right area of the map. It is a lot of navigation, a lot of exploration as well. So this is a large push. This make this is. I'd say twice as difficult as the mech percent, at least, it is a, a nice heavy step forward. Um, and it so it pushes you to really show off your skill, will not like push you to insane skill. You don't have to do it in one life, you just have to do it. Um, 
If you by the time you beat Void Beast Barith, you'll probably have enough money to buy the Architect, so you could just lock down Kogwan Plateau and get more experience there. So that I think could be another step. Um, this, whether or not, now that I think about, it, the more I talk about this next step might actually be before Nama Percent if you're having issues with it. But I call this one Touch the Sun. So the goal of this is just very simple. You have to enter the room where you face Irad. You don't have to fight Irad. I'm waiting sure because if you have to fight Irad, a lot of people would die in that process. So I do not want to do that to most people. So Irad, I just want you to enter the room because the process of climbing Sun Tower is going to get you really good at navigating the castle. Because first, you have to get the Void Dash Heirloom because you can't get through that door without Void Dash. And if you do, there is a way through Count Clown Thruppy, which you can actually um, spin kick to get up Sun Tower. But then you still have some issues of... Um, you still need to get the Echo Kick anyways. And when you get to those Void Bells, like, there's going to be room... It's going to be really hard to get rooms where you don't need the Void Dash Orbs to get through to the top. Getting to the top of the Sun Tower is very hard, but it's also very rewarding, and it allows you to, like, explore the castle really well. I think that that makes a really good... Uh, um, basically... That gives you the sense of exploring areas that are far more dangerous than you. And that is something that you're going to have to get used to during speedruns. I think that is a really cool way of doing it. So that's kind of three ways of gaps. So that's, let's see, so we have 5,000 gold rush, we have Nama percent, and we have um, Touch the Sun as the three new runs. After that, I do want to have a fourth run, which is just house rules any percent. Any percent is insane absolutely insane i would love people to say like one of the best ways to practice it is literally to go to house rules and make it shorter for you make it so that if you fall off the set tower you can trigger flight and fly away i think it's perfectly acceptable to put on house rules and still have a very difficult run elusive is necessary for our little boxer con um forms and so having that without having to grab boxer is a great theme um the reduced damage, the reduced health, very important for actually finishing off the boss. Um, like, I could only survive two hits. Like, if you could only survive four hits, that doesn't make it too much easier. It just makes it easier. It's still going to be extremely hard. So because of that, I think that house rules any percent is a nice little stopgap of I want to do it all. I want to see it all, but I need to get good. And to get good in any percent is a lot of work. It is a nice little step to say, hey... I can do this, let's get used to it, let's have a run that I can actually finish at a regular basis at a regular time. And then of course when you're ready, you take off house rules. And I think that would be our runs through that. Um, I know Mindful Line wants to add additional all bosses where you even face Prime Lamech and all the Prime bosses. I'm not sure how much that will catch on. There might be a full lore percent which would be a very long, like, eight-hour run, I'm sure, because you have to get to New Game Plus X of, like, plus six find um, two-ball prime when the time comes. So that is a lot of issues, but basically this is the kind of stepping stone. So for people, just to recap, um, people start with um, Scar Ch Erebus Scar Challenges as their speedruns. Then they move to Lamech Percent speedrun. Then they move to the 5,000 Gold Rush. Then... Nama percent, touch the sun, house rules any percent, and then finally you reach any percent. The reason I want these stop gaps is because any percent is extremely hard to do, and it's a lot harder to get people interested in it when you, when going from step one to step two to step three, when you the process of learning the run isn't rewarded until you have all of it. Having little like when you get good at feet facing Lamech. You have the Lamech percent run, which you get to reward yourself by putting yourself on the leaderboard. Once you get good at Nama, you have the Nama percent run, which you get a reward because you get to put yourself on the leaderboard. Once you get the Sun Tower, like every single step feels rewarded because you're not, you don't have this insane, insurmountable mountain ahead of you. This will help get more people into the speedrunning community, and I would just really appreciate having more people to interact with. As I always said, I don't need to be first. I just want to be bored. I just want to be part of it. Anyways, thank you everyone so much for watching. I hope I at least started a discussion as to the other categories and other runs you could possibly do to make this run more approachable and more enjoyable for players. With that, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day.